subscribe and click that bell icon to get notified of my latest uploads. Hey guys and welcome back to the next Alpha 19. As you can see we are at this oil factory over here. I'm just going to try looting this quickly. So that we can get all the oil and all gas and stuff over here. And also there's safes and not hidden stashes over here. It is night time so we have to watch out. Also a February uh, commented on my video on episode 2. Saying why don't I just carry a second blunderbuss. And that's actually something I'm going to be doing. Except I already sold all my blunderbusses. So now as soon as I get another one I'll just equip the second one. Because that's going to allow me to not do this every single shot. The only problem is I'm going to have to do that with two guns after every two shots. So it's just so that if we're in a tight pinch, we don't have to worry about reload. We can just switch the weapon and then kill. Make sure we kill all the zombies first and then go for the secret statues. I also need to make sure that my aim is in the face. So I need to shoot. I'll show you guys what I mean right now. I'm going to let him swing. Step back, step in. Boom. One shot. Also guys, apparently the game uh, stage, also the zombies get tougher. So like for example, the health goes down slower, they move faster, all that stuff as your game stage goes up. So also the XP drops off to a certain stage. So I am not looking forward to that, that's going to be such slow progress. Okay, just want to make sure we get all the zombies first, so the whole night we can just focus on looting over here. Um, sometimes there's a ladder on this, yeah. There's a ladder Yeah, I almost forget to check. Sometimes there's actually some good loot up here, like an ammo pile, or even if it's just a bag or something, at least there is loot here. And this time, it's nothing. Okay. Uh, it's just a nice sniper point then. Just need to go down. Come on. No, 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 no. Don't break your leg. Ooh, almost took a tumble just now. Also, guys, um, as you guys, uh, as I've mentioned before, um, I'm now getting my unemployment f uh, checks. Uh, there's three months worth of unemployment fund checks coming in now. So, yeah, I'm at least a little, uh, stressing a little bit less uh, because of that. But unfortunately... The past few days, I've actually been at my mother's crash helping clean, getting prepared for aftercare stuff. Um, kids from school coming after school to do the homework at the crash, stuff like that. And we just heard that, nope, we're not going to have opening soon. After all that effort of cleaning and getting ready, now they're saying, um, nope, it's going to be like in a month's time that we might hear back from them. It's just crap like that. So, yeah, <laughs> if the crash... Where you uh, don't even touch kids or hold kids that much. Um, if if that doesn't open, now when is swimming it open? So apparently the grade R's, that's like the five six year old uh, group, they're gonna open maybe twenty the twentieth. Ooh, I need a torch. Just realised maybe the twentieth they're gonna open um, of July, or maybe the twentieth will only give back about opening up for them. So if the grade five to six group will only go back then. The other grade, uh, the uh, age zeros to age fives, uh, the, 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 when are they going to go back? In August someplace. And like I was saying, you don't even hold those kids, really. And that only opens up then. So swimming, where I have to catch kids, um, you be in physical, physical contact with kids. When they come out of the water, sometimes they go, Pfft, they just spit in your face to get the water out of their face. So stuff like that, when is swimming going to open? It makes me stress that it's only going to be at the end of the year. If I'm lucky. Okay, so we don't have a torch. I'm going to see if I have any animal fat. No, I don't. I'm going to just quickly have to go back to the base. To grab a torch or two. Because we can't see at night. We don't have the mining armor yet. Wait. Uh, that room is connected to the one I've already busted open over there. Okay. Just to make sure we loot everything we can for now. These are just consoles. That leads outside. So that leads nowhere. And also guys, I've noticed there is a bug with the lighting. Lighting actually flickers when I'm looking down or... Yeah, mostly at night when I'm looking down and then doing this, the light changes. Like different shades of the light. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. Flashlight. The safe. I want to open this safe and the two safes up top. But I first want to make sure we loot as much as possible before we go and grab our torches. So when we come back, we only have to do that one room up top where, uh, with the two safes and then the safe downstairs over here. I don't even know why I'm looting this right now. It's just, I think, as soon as I have a mini bike, then I'll be, uh, have gas. That's the only real reason to loot this early on, because gas you just use for your motor tools like auger and chainsaw, and your cars and stuff like that. Okay, so at least there weren't that many zombies. It goes to show, I think it's also connected to your game stage, how many sleepers spawn. Look at the lighting on these things. 
This over here, every now and then if I look a little bit different, this disappears and adds over there. I should actually see if I can turn the shine off, the reflection quality on stuff. Um, sure, it does add a nice realism effect to it, but we want to minimize the frame damage we get over here. And who knows, if we turn the reflection off, we might be able to get higher frames, or be able to enable other settings. Okay, so I wonder... We should be able to get into the secret stash over here. No, it's not this one, right? Over here. We should be able to get up here if we go on top of here. So instead of breaking through like we usually do, I'm just quickly going to go back to the base, grab a torch, and then we're going to go from that second floor. We're going to run around and then climb through the tower like that. It's going to save us time wailing on blocks and stuff as well. We don't want to waste too much time. We can just well technically climb out of here. Guys, I do apologize if you hear noise in the background. My parents are watching series now. I think it's Black Lightning that they're watching. So there is a little bit of background noise over here. Also, I finally figured out why the sounds, uh, the sound of the game sounds wrong to me. It's almost like the game track and the mic track is on completely different levels. So the game noise is much more crisp, and my mic, my mic sounds bad. I need to get myself a new one soon. Um, but I think that's the cause of why I'm so. It feels like my mic is broken or my sound is broken. Okay, uh, where? Thank you. And this one, six and eight. Yes, thank you. Already getting better clothing. That's a good sign. Scrap, and we just need to drop a few things off first. Wait, 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 we need this. Please tell me I have animal fat. Yes, we do. Cool. Where's all my torches? I could have sworn I had many torches. Did I just drop them, or am I confusing gameplays? Okay, anyways, uh, torch, torch, torch. Wait, what do I need? Oh, wood. <laughs> didn't even realize I didn't have wood on me. Okay. I was wondering why it doesn't show up when I click on the, uh, the basics over here. Usually the torch pops up. So I'm just going to make five for now. And then the rest of stuff we can dump for now. We're not going to use all of this stuff. You don't want to be too encumbered when facing these zombies. Okay, food and water. Ooh, that's actually pretty low. We do have food and water on us, so I'm not going to drink anything special extra right now. The rest of the stuff, let's just quickly dump that so we can be on our way over here. Uh, let's go there, there, there. I'm going to put this with weapons. Oh, that should actually go with miscellaneous. And then over here, smeltables. And whatever that counts as. Okay, so we have got all the gas, mostly from the place as far as I can see. We are now just waiting on our torches, although they are crafting really fast, so we should be able to get that loot soon. Oops, don't know why I did that. Okay, let's go, let's go, let's go. I need to also work on my fall damage and stuff, but when you're leveling as slow as we're doing at the moment, it feels... You, you can definitely feel, uh, feel the game is a lot harder. Not in the sense of, damn, you're getting overrun, but in the sense of you're getting so little done in that same period. I think mods have spoiled me. The fact that with Darkness Falls and Where's UK you get loot so much easier. Everything's just so much easier with the mods in terms of advancing your game stage and all that. Okay, so I think we're just gonna... I need to also make myself some frames. Or not uh, frames, spikes. I think that's gonna come in hand. And also, uh, February commented, I think I uh, uh, said this in the beginning, I need two blunderbusses. The only problem is then my inventory is gonna be too full. And why am I running when I have a bicycle, John? Okay, so we're just quickly going to open this up. That is blocked off now, so should a zombie appear... This is also locked. Um, at least we'll be safe for now. Nice. Only one lock pick. I love it when that happens. Okay, so scrap. We already have a level 3. Scrap and scrap. I should actually see if I can at least sell the knuckle wraps. Uh, but I don't think it's going to be worth that much, so I'm not going to waste my time on stuff like that. But yeah, I need to make spikes, guys, so I have a spike defense as well. If zombies charge me, I can just lay a layer of spikes, and then I can focus on shooting. Now this... Where does this lead to? I can't remember. I'll probably just do this for you guys so you can see what I'm doing. And then I need to remember to take my torches with me. I'll keep forgetting my torches, and that's why I have to keep making new ones and new ones and new ones. This seems like a toilet, a bathroom. Okay, and no zombies at least, so quickly just run through here. On a bicycle and with a blunderbuss, we should be able to even loot during the night. Only problem is going to be dropping torches, keep on going. Dropping... Ooh. Ooh. Yes. Where was this sooner? When we needed to make the wheels for the bicycle. Okay. Um, grab our torch. No. First open up this door, then grab our torch. I just want... To, while I'm talking like this, so not a bit... I don't want it to be too dark for you guys and you can't see what I'm doing. Okay. So, this room is going to be safe. Doesn't seem to be any sleepers or anything left over here, so we should be safe for now. And it is getting visibly darker. Let's just quickly do this. Um, another reason why we need spikes, guys, if I'm looting a place like this, you want to be able to put the spikes in the doorway. Even if you have to destroy them afterwards, it's fine. 
You want to put those spikes in the doorway so you don't have to worry about zombies getting you while you're busy looting or lockpicking safes and stuff. Okay, so we need to go this direction. So you can either break through to the bottom over there or you can just climb up here and keep on going. Okay, so sometimes there are... Ooh, that's locked. That might have been a mistake. Let's see if I can break through at least just one block. Downstairs you have to break, I think, through like four or five blocks. So if we can just get this going, we'll be able to frame ourselves in and out. Any zombies? Nope. Okay, that's good for us. And just in case it gets too dark now, let's just do that. But then again, that's almost... With all the reflection quality set up so high, that's almost too bright at the moment. I also want to tweak my brightness a bit, but I actually love the fact that you can still see at night a little bit. Even if it's just a little bit. Where? Where? Scrap. That's... If it's under 100 in value, guys, I'm just going to scrap it. There's no point in keeping that. Also, I've noticed our loot is actually really, really crappy at the moment. I hope we get more better loot soon. Okay, we can just pick all those up. Thank you. I'm not going to waste my frames over here. We should be able to technically jump over, jump over, but I'm not going to take that chance. Just now we fall down and we have to climb up ladders and stuff again. I love the darkness in this game now. Even though it, it's actually really bright still at 10 o'clock. Other than that, it's actually really, really dark. Okay, so this one's just going to go here so I can see what I'm lockpicking. And there's just two safes. So I'm quickly going to go open up both and then have you guys back. Okay, so the first one took one and the other one took four lockpicks. Ooh, I can hear zombies. And it sounds like more than one, so it might just be a wandering horde. If it is, I hope they're outside. Then I should be able to shoot them while they're... Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Where are you? Where are you? If they're still outside, I can get them relatively easy without having to worry about dying. Is it just one? Yeah, it's just one, unfortunately. Okay, let's just do this. Also, guys, um, if I forget your name, like, I'm going to uh, say something now, and I'm sorry I forgot your name. Uh, but if that's you, just comment down below, yeah, I gave the tip, or... But please be honest, <laughs> don't steal other people's tips. Uh, someone commented that you can now get... I don't know if it's berries? No, it's not berries. Um, it's a pill that you can... Or a medicine that you can actually take. A potion or, th or something. That increases your chance at stuff. For example, there's one you can drink or eat. That increases your lockpicking skill to 100%. So you don't have any chance of failing it if, that, if you have that skill or that thing drank or ate. I can't remember if it's a berry, a pill... I just remember someone saying something about it. I just can't remember who or what the exact device was. Okay, um... Let's just do this. I should actually place my torches right next to my gun. So it's easier to grab should I need to. So we're going to do this. Just so we can switch between the gun and the torch quite easily. Now, we need to go... I also want to just also test what that was. Was it a drink that we need to do? I hate it when I forget stuff like that. I actually just woke up from a long sleep before re trying to record a video, guys. Because it's just been... I haven't even been working that hard today. Um, the past two days I was cleaning and fixing and standing up and stuff for a long time. But today I've just been the driver and still I was, I was so tired today. So when I got home I just went and I slept for a while and then I woke up and I was like, Oh crap, I still need to record the video. Let's get that done. Okay, so this is just a wall. I thought there might be some loot over here. I could have sworn there's usually a bag or something over here that you can actually loot. All of this is unlootable. Okay, that's a waste of space. We just need to be careful. There's a safe in there. And we need to be careful of any zombies that might be sleeping around the PIs and stuff. Sometimes they don't even hear you until you're right next to them. So they can pop up out of nowhere without you even being prepared for them. Even this PI, sometimes they're sleeping in the water over here. Okay, so bird's nest. Thank you. And we need the ladder. There you go. Now, please tell me there's something up here that's not just a water tower. I think it's just a water tower. Okay, so if I break this open, is there going to be water inside? No, that's right. I just quickly want to check. And it doesn't look like there's any water. Oh, wait. If there's no water, does it mean there's perhaps loot? No, it's water. Uh, let's just block that off because it's going to create lag over here. And let's go. Now, I'm still running for some reason, so <laughs> I'm going to stop doing that and use my bicycle now. What's the point in making a bicycle if you don't even drive to where you need to be? So I'm just going to place it down like so, so that I don't forget. Now I just need to climb off this building and just run to the next one. I forgot I even placed my bike down. Okay, so there's no zombies or anything downstairs usually. They're on the second floor behind a locked door, but that locked door can fall easily. Okay, so first this one. Pants 5 and 4. Cold resist goes up. I think I'm going to wear this one then. 
Because we are in a rather cold biome. So we need heat. Okay, so there's a zombie... Not behind this one, but behind that one. So let's just first go for the top one. Usually all I do is I stack up against the building. It's a lot easier. Now from here, you can just shoot zombies if you have to. Boom, she's dead. And now I have access to the safe of yes. Let's just make some light. As I really need to... What's that drink called? Um... Is it a drink? Grandpa's? No. Um, what could it be? Pull? No. I'm so mad at myself not remembering what the guy said it was. It's a berry or pull or a plant or something that really increases your chance of finding stuff. Yeah. Uh, if you, <laughs> if you um, guys know what I'm talking about, just comment that down below. But yeah, basically that's guy, uh, what the guy was talking about. If I can uh, ensure that my lock picking is 100% every time. Obviously, I think something like that will really go for a lot, or will cost a lot to make. So, um, yeah, I need, I need to check what the recipe is. Is it too expensive to make? Can I make it or not? I mean, look at this. Already three lockpicks, and it keeps failing. So, we need something to make sure that's 100%. Okay, so it failed four more times after that, which really sucks. Woo! Thank you, and that's going to sell for... I don't even know, because the light's in the way. I just have to do this first so I can see. That's going to sell for... 560, nice. Okay, grab this. Did I leave a torch somewhere? I think I left it in the uh, the oil place because I had five torches, now I only have four. See, that's how easy it is to lose a torch. You forget to pick it up and then you're screwed later on. I need to actually have kept that stone sledgehammer because I think with a stone sledgehammer, you can break through a door easier than with a fire axe. Okay, so... That building is next over there. I just want to make sure. I want to see how far we can actually get. Just by going around the outskirts like this. And hopefully there's quite a few cool pure eyes in between. That we can really go for. The only problem now during the night is. Being able to face a zombie in the dark. You guys won't actually be able to see that properly. Because I need to drop a torch and then face that zombie. Which is a really tough thing to do. And that zombie is trying to get out to me. And we need to watch out for any zombies falling from on top. If I can, I want to try and see if I can place a torch in the room I'm facing the zombies in. Like for example like this, and then we're able to shoot the zombie without being able to worry that we can't see him. Oh crap. Okay, so Jean, remember to reload. And not ready yet. Boom, reload. I just hope I'm not waking up all the zombies in the vicinity, that's gonna suck. Okay, so unfortunately we have to keep our hands on the torches to be able to see. If it wasn't for that, we could actually just... Run around with a gun in hands ready to shoot. Oh crap. That is not a good sign. Where's that screamer? It's a spider rather. Where's a spider? Okay, so this is a rather safe room. I just want to place a torch so we can actually see over here. And then... There you are. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. This one's going to hit me. Yep. Okay, so reload, reload, reload. Damn it. The way it's jumping is really hard to hit. And his head just now, it looks so weird. It looks like he was trying to hear where I was. His head was tilted away to like, hear, not to hit. And now I need to open up the safe, but if zombies are going to bombard me the whole time, every time I try, I might just have to clear out the area first before I can loot this. Okay, come on, there you go. One more. I need to make some space over here. And I think the spider got through because of the way it was shaped, so now I should be safe enough to quickly loot over here. Because the rest of them have to break through the destroyed stone to get to me. One, yes. I noticed that I'm, I'm way luckier now. Oh, that's just crappy loot. I'm way luckier with how fast it opens. Sure, some of them really fails a lot. But if you get in, you get in easy. Okay, so just do this. Make a little bit more space. I do have my wrench on me should we need to wrench anything. But I don't think that's going to be necessary at the moment. And I should probably just quickly get in like so. Oh, they can actually walk through. Yeah, I was mistaken about that. If I can walk in, they can walk in. Boom. Let's go, let's go, let's go. I thought that it might only be one high, but then how did I get in? Come on, there you go. I'm going to block this off or get up without them being able to, because they still have to go through a wooden layer to get to the same level as me. Okay, so, torch in hand. Any sleepers up here that didn't hear the gunfire just now? It seems they actually hear you a lot better now as well. Except when you're going into one of the cemeteries and opening boxes right next to them. Then you can wail on those boxes without worrying. And no loot. This is actually really, really crappy loot. Okay, now the thing is, we're going to try and go for this over here. Yep, hello. I see you. Uh, let's just make some light quickly. 
Um, yeah, there you go. Thank you. Okay, we just need to make sure it doesn't go for the bottom one too fast. Boom! Oh yeah, and that was a crappy shot. Still alive. I need to actually also then do this. Since there's still a layer in between him and me, I don't have. To, I don't want to waste my ammo. Rather, I shouldn't waste my ammo. It's too easy to waste your ammo and then... Wait, what? Oh, the other torches, yeah. See, that's so easy to leave your torches behind. I think I did the same with the other building. Okay, we should be able to... Yep, crawl. That's what I thought the other one was. If they stand here, they can't crawl like we do. Yeah, I wonder if that zombie got out over there. It seemed, it seemed like a skater zombie. Oh, now this place is going to be a little bit more interesting. <laughs> there's a way more zombies over here than with the next door one over here. Okay, so there's a locked room upstairs which might all the chance. You know what? Do we have wood? Only 16. Can I make... No, not even enough for a... Wait, wait, wait. We can make bulb fences. We need four more. They can make two. Um, upstairs, we have a problem with the sleepers. So if I can make two... Or just one spike and slow them down while I reload my blunderbuss, that's really going to help me out a lot. So I think let's just quickly do this and then... Just quickly want to break this. Ooh, that's such... Un oh, wow. It's turned around, that's why I couldn't see that's a cabinet. Okay, that's not enough still, right? Yeah, only 19. Oh, that sucks. And I'm not going to get any wood from there. Um, I need more wood. Oh, what I could do. Do this and scrap and... Oh, crap. No, 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 no. That's bad, that's bad, that's bad. Reload. They're going to break this thing soon and there's more zombies outside. Oh, crap, 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 crap. I hate it when they charge like that. Reload, reload, reload. I need to get face point shot. This seems to be a wandering horde right now. Run, 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 John, run. There's definitely a wandering horde out here and I need light. Okay, I wonder if they're from upstairs or if this is a wandering horde. They just reload. At least the bike is right there. Should I need to run? Boom. If I can kill them all one shot, then it's going to save me a ton. Please, Congo line over here. The more you guys walk in a line, the better it is for me. I just hope I don't wake up the zombies from this junkyard over here. Come on. In a line. Oh, there you go. There you go. There you go. Only one died. Okay, so I'm wasting a bit of shots now. But I mean, if I can kill them like this without dying, I don't care how many shots it takes. Although we do need more blunderbuss ammo soon. So I need to see if the trader actually has some gunpowder for me. It is day four, so the trader has reset. So you might just be able to get some awesome stuff from the trader. Let's hope a mining helmet is one of them. Okay, torch, thank you. On the way back, I want to see if I can get that fifth torch. Just now we run out of torches because I keep forgetting them behind, or leaving them behind. Okay, so there's going to be zombies in this room, and this place is really tall, so there's going to be zombies up top as well. There's one room that's actually blocked off. You know what, can I quickly make... Let's make two of these. It's cheaper because it takes iron as well, not just wood. We don't have it... Well, I could just chop this tree and get more spikes, which I should really do. Um... I wonder if I shouldn't just quickly do it. We need spikes. We need to be able to block the zombies off so they can't get to us too easily. So, let's quickly get a little bit of this tree. Although, I should be able to get this whole tree now because... Yeah, look how fast the tree is falling. Okay, okay, okay. Get to safety, get to safety. Get some light in your hand, John. I accidentally scrolled past the light just now. Okay, and then with this, we should be able to make way more barbed. Okay, now we need iron. If I can get more bob fences, they're cheaper to make, or not as expensive as the other spikes. Other spikes, I can make only three. But I can make more than three. I can make four already, you just need more iron. So if I can get some iron to scrap right now, that's really going to come in handy. So for example, this, this, this. I can always just make more uh, nails and stuff. For now, I don't need to worry about that. Okay, now food and water is getting really low. I just don't know why it says 17, 16. For, uh, I wonder if that's how long the drink lasts. It has to be. And then, apparently for 1 minute 45, I can run really, really fast for some reason. Max stamina bonus. What's, I don't know why. Oh, I probably went over the max stamina and now it's giving me a bonus. That makes sense. Okay, we're clearly going to break through this door. We just have to watch out for zombies falling in our heads over here. Oh, wait. We don't even have to break through the door. We can just do this. Uh, you know what? Let's pick up the frames behind us. Get our blunderbuss ready. Or just first the light because we need to be able to put the light down. Okay, it's been a while since I've actually seen a gun safe in this corner over here. Usually some of these buildings do have a gun safe. Please, yes. Wasteland treasures, what's this one? What is this one going to do? That was wasteland treasures number one. 
I just want to see exactly what I got from that because I couldn't in the uh, moment see what that was. Small chance of it's honey from ooh honey from trees. So the more trees I cut down, the better. Harvest coffins for bones, jewelry, and precious gems. Oh wait, harvest? Does that mean looting, or do I need to destroy the the coffin to be able to get those re resources? Okay, so we need to go to the next floor. At least we are done with this one. That was actually rather easy. Uh, just make sure we read all the schematics and stuff to get them out of the way. This is oak seed, old shape. Remember that, that looked like a pill of some sorts. Um, I wonder. Lock picking. I thought there might be like a lock picking drink. I wish I remember. I can remember what the guy said exactly what it, what it's gonna be. I just know there's something you can drink to get your lock a lock picking up. If I can remember that, I'm gonna high five myself because sometimes these days I forget stuff really really easily and. It bothers me because there is a uh, history of Alzheimer's in my family. I love the fact that it takes long for or, yeah, long for the light to die down at night. And in the morning it already appears before 4. In the mods that I've been playing, I don't know if it's also vanilla like this. But thus far with the mods, every time it turns 10, it's instantly dark. And when it turns 4, it's instantly light. So this is a, fre it's a refreshing change on that. This should be open. Ooh. It's actually a safe of here. It's still a little bit dark in this room, so I'm just going to do that. And let's open this up. I only have like 16 or 15 lockpicks left, so let's hope it takes. Yes, first one. And my lockpicking isn't... Oh, no, I mustn't say anything about it, because then I'm going to jinx myself. But you guys can guess what I was about to say there. <laughs> Thus far, it's good luck. So, hopefully that wasn't a jinx in and of itself. This, I should be able to repair, but it's going to take a normal repair kit, right? Yes. How much can I sell that for? I just want to make sure if it's worth... Yeah, it's almost 100, so why not? This I'm going to place here because that one room is going to be over, uh, crawling with zombies and... Oh, I scrapped that one... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Even though I scrapped that one um, short line pipe, we should be able to get some over here. Yes, three, there you go. With that, we can now repair this and with stone we can repair this. I want to make sure all my items are always at the best level they can be before facing any zombies. And also, I need to make use of the... And now it's too bright for a torch. I need to make use of the bicycle storage. And I need to remember there is actually storage there. I mustn't over encumber myself or encumber myself too much over here. And forget that there is 10 more slots or 9 more slots on my bicycle itself. Just to make sure we don't miss any desk space. Because sometimes there's, uh, there's uh, scattered about, even like in the corners over there. But usually there's a, uh, what do you call it, a cooler or a table with the safe on the side. Okay, this is unlocked. I love the fact that it's unlocked. This I should technically wrench while I'm here. Why not? A pure eyes um, uh, air conditioners and a pure eyes cars. All of it I need to wrench while I'm at the pure eye. It actually looked cool just now. The bed was unma uh, unmade. Usually in the morning you make your bed to let it look nice, and this was totally unmade. Like someone had to um, to rush out of here to get out of here in a hurry. Okay, um, more stone arrows. Thank you. Robot robotic turret ammo. So it's not uh, called a junk turret anymore. The faster I can get something like that, the better. Okay, so now, this is going to be the floor. There's a door over here. And usually there are sleepers in there, so I need to be careful. I'm going to place down at least one. Are there zombies in there? No, okay. Usually there's zombies in here and the door is more locked, more secure. Like, wood, uh, it's upgraded to wood and iron again. Okay, so anything in here? Nope. Okay, now now I know why. Usually there's a safe at least for the zombies, and this one didn't have a safe, so there's no zombies protecting it. Anything over here? Nope, nope, nope. We need to make sure we level up, so the more zombies we meet uh, or encounter, the more we have to kill. I just hope we get a gun soon that's strong enough to take them down faster. We have the ammo, but just not the gun. And my game stage is climbing slowly but surely, so soon we should be able to get better guns from looting. We should be able to make our own already, but we need the parts for that. So if I can just make sure we get the light, uh, this way, then why not? You know what? I can make one more arrow with that. Why waste the stone? But yeah, I can loot uh, my game stage. Soon I'll be able to loot better quality items. And then I can already make them. Like I said, I just need the resources for it. Okay, so bad luck. Five lockpicks. I did jinx myself. Okay. Oh yes, more blunderbuss. This I can scrap because I already have one. And more blunderbuss ammo. Nice. The more ammo we have, the better. So I should technically do something like this. But see, this belt is too small. Um, I wonder if it's necessary to bring my bow with me. 
I think I should put, I put my bow up here, and only when I need to attract the attention of zombies do I actually use the bow. It was now like this, at least I can fire two shots in a line. Especially if the zombies are right on top of me, you can't afford to reload your blunderbuss. Obviously it's going to be annoying reloading both of them afterwards. But other than that, we should be set. Ooh, yes, is that... Oh no, that's not on the outskirts, is it? I feel, like I said, I first want to do all the outskirts because there's a ton of safes and stuff over here, so it might be worth just going for the outskirts first. I just hope it's not a mistake on my part. Okay, we will have one thing to spend over there. I wonder if I should go for Lucky Looter or Salvage Operations. This is for your range to be able to get more uh, stuff from cars. Also does more damage when... So uh, basically you wrench them faster, you wrench faster itself the, uh, the way it moves, and also get better resources. So I could go for that, or I'd need to go for other stuff as well. For example, pack mule to be able to carry more, or mother load to get more resources from trees and boulders and stuff. I wonder if I should go for sexual Tyrannosaurus. This, what does this do again? Reduces melee and tool stamina issues by 8%, and power attacks by 15%. Especially since I do power attacks with this one. That might just come in handy, so I'm going to spend that point... Th wait, 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 wait. I want to say I'm going to spend that point there, but if I can make a mini bike. Craft mini bike parts 33% cheaper. We do have now two acids, so I might be able to make myself a mini bike. Let's just really check do I have everything needed? I don't think we have an engine and a battery. So I might need to wrench a few more cars, but there's cars everywhere. I could even do this junkyard just because there's cars there. But remember, we need to go for cars that you can actually loot. So a full car like that, and that's just the frame. That's not going to give you anything. Just the frame, that one might be lootable over there. So if you can loot that level, you'll be able to get a battery or an engine from that. Guys, if we can skip... Imagine, we just got the bicycle. Imagine we can get a mini bike this early on. And we do have a thousand gas, so that should be able to last us. Um, I'm just going to call it an episode here, guys. I think I'm quickly going to go back to the base and just make sure we have all the parts, or at least the mini bike parts, cooking up. And then next episode, we're going to keep on going, and we're going to go for the outskirts over here. So if you guys like this episode, please like and share with your friends. Any comments or tips or feedback? Oh, I lost a torch. Any comments or tips or feedback for me? Does I miss anything? What do you guys think about this episode? Anything at all? Leave a comment down below. Oh, the torch is upstairs. I'm going to leave it. And if you guys are new to this channel, please move to hit that subscribe button for more of this content. See you guys next time.